Sixth grade Excel, lesson 110, solving word problems involving sales tax, sales price, interest, and profit. You better pay close attention on this one. This is a big old fat hard lesson. Here we go. Sales tax is collected by federal, state, or local governments. Federal means the government in Washington, D.C. State is like whatever state you live in. Local means whatever city you live in or the county. They're going to collect taxes when you purchase certain items. It's called sales tax. So when you guys go to the store and you buy a candy bar and it says that it costs 89 cents, you don't actually pay 89 cents for it. You've got to pay a little extra with the sales tax, right? Yeah. Um, actually, there's no tax on, on food. Candy. On candy, there's no tax, right? Well, I guess. I don't know. They're probably trying to figure out a way to tax it. But the amount of tax depends on the cost and type of each item you buy. In the United States, tax is usually added as a subtotal on the cash register receipt. In other words, on your receipt, it says, uh, let's say you're buying a shirt or whatever. It's got the shirt here. It says $9.99. And then it'll say tax as a separate thing right here where it'll say, you know, 80, um, 87 cents or whatever. Let me say right there, okay? And then it is called a subtotal. All uh, right, and then it says, uh, in other countries, it is usually included in the price of each item. So they actually show you when they have the, the price tag on something, it includes the tax in other countries. Sales tax is usually stated as a percentage of the price. Because percent is parts per hundred, sales tax is cents per dollar. So if the sales tax rate is 6%, what is the tax on a book that costs $8? Well, for every dollar, you're going to pay six cents, right? Six percent means six out of a hundred. You getting this? Yeah. A six percent tax means you are taxed six cents for every dollar. So if you pay eight dollars and there's six cents for each one, you're going to pay 48 cents in tax. The total cost of the book then is 848 because you got to pay the eight dollars for the book and 48 cents extra for the tax. Okay, what is the total cost of a tie with a $4 price tag if the sales tax rate is, okay, if it's 5%, 5% means 0 0.05, right? Five, five hundredths, so this is 0 0.05 times the $4 gives us 20 cents in tax. $4 plus 20 cents is $4.20. Okay, and again, the way you solve that is you do 0 0.05 times four. That figures out your tax. You get 20 when you multiply that. You, multi you move over the decimal point two spots, so it's 20 cents in tax. Let's do this next one together. Okay, if it's a $4 price tag and you're paying 6% tax on it, we're going to multiply 6%, which is 600, right? We're going to find 6% of $4. Okay, six times four is? 24. 24. So how much money is this? $24? 0.24, you got to move it over two spots, so the tax is 24 cents, and if it costs $4, and you add the 24 cents for the tax, it's a total of $4.24. Okay, pause the video, try three and four, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. All right, now that, you're, now that you've done the problem, here's Haley showing us how it's done. Explain to him what you're doing. Okay, well then, you do... Okay, that would equal point twenty eight, and then you do four dollars plus twenty eight would equal four point twenty eight dollars. And then Emma's gonna go do number four. Here goes Emma. What? Go Emma, go. Point oh eight because that's eight percent. Yeah, okay. Eight percent is point oh eight. Good. Times four. Remember, when you want to find percent of a number, you always multiply to find percent of a number, not divide. And then you, since there's two split places before the decimal point, it's point thirty two. That's just your tax, though, right? Mm hmm. And times. I mean, plus four dollars. Oh, I like how you just combined it together. That's good. Thank you. Didn't waste your time writing it again. 
Awesome. Beautiful. And I'll add your dollar sign on for you there. Okay. Moving on. Most sales prices are not exact dollar amounts, and sales taxes may not even be percentages. Computing sales tax is the same as multiplying by a decimal because sales tax is a percent. Sometimes you may have to round your answer. How much is the sales tax on a book that costs $6.40 if the tax rate is 6%? Now we're not doing an even dollar amount. We're doing $6.40. So 6% 6 is 6 hundredths, which is, can be written as a decimal, right? 640, the amount of the uh, item, times the percent, 0 0.06, gives you 0.3840. Now, how much money is 0 0.3840? Well, you're going to have to round that off, okay? So you're going to round it to 38 cents. You're going to throw that extra four tenths of a cent away. That's what that means, four tenths of a cent. So the tax is going to be 38 cents on this thing that's $6.40. Uh, you can estimate your answer by computing the tax on $7 and the tax on $6. And your answer should be in the middle. Your tax on 640 should be in, in between those. So if the tax rate is 6% on $7, how much money would that be? You should do that in your head. Come on, 6 and 7. 42. It would be 42 cents. And how much would it be on this? 36 cents. That would be 36 cents. So this answer should be between those two because this is $6.40. And 640 comes between 6 and 7. So the tax should be between the tax on 6 and 7. And so 38 cents does come between 42 and 36. That makes sense. You would not put $3.84. Because why would you pay $3.84 in tax when it only costs 640? That's like half the price. It doesn't make any sense at all. All right, let's go on to the next one. Cost of a $9.38 shirt if the tax rate is, and they give you two different tax rates. Uh, go ahead and try number six, pause the video, and then turn it back on. I'm going to give you some hints on seven before you try that one. Okay, who's going to come do six? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you're taking the amount of, let's say, shirt or whatever, and times it by point oh six. Wait. Oh no, that goes right there. Sorry, because this is two. It's two, so I have four. Okay, good. So what's the tax then? So well, six five six six. What's that tax gonna be? That's that. Six. Okay, you gotta round it though. Point seventy? Mm, that would be rounding the nearest dime. We gotta round the nearest penny. Point Point what? Point sixty six. There you go. So okay. add that to your shirt amount. My shirt amount. Okay, so the shirt's going to cost ten dollars and four cents by the time you add the tax on. Remember uh, what you where you got stuck here, Tyler is you got to look to the number to the right of the penny. And that number to the right, the six, changes the five to a six, because it's five or higher. All right, now in this one, do you know how to change 4.4% into a decimal? Notice on this here, this is 7%. There's like a decimal point right here, and we move it over two spots to the left, so it's 0.07. You're going to do the same thing on this one. You're going to move it over two spots to the left. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and then uh, try it, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. All right, I'm going to do this one. So the shirt amount is 938, and I'm multiplying this times 4.4%. What's that as a decimal? 0 0.44. 0 0.044. You've got to move it over two spots. So you're going to end up with a zero in there, right? If it's 0.44, what percent is that? What is 0.44? What percent is 0.44? 44%. You're going to pay 44% tax? No. No, that's way too much. 
Okay, so now we have to multiply the point oh four four times nine dollars and thirty eight cents. Eight times four is Thirty-two. Carry the three. Three times four? Twelve. Plus three? Fifteen. Carry the one. Nine times four? Thirty-six. Plus one? Thirty-seven. Good. Put in a zero. Let's get rid of these. Eight oh, it's the exact same thing. Look, eight times four. For those of you that go through all those steps again, don't waste your time. Just copy this one. Except it moves over once, right? It's the exact same number. Add it up. 2, 7, 12, 11, 4. Now, where's the decimal point going to go on this? How many spots over? 5. 2 here, 3 here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now we have to round that because we can't have 0.41272 of a dollar. So what is that rounded? 41 cents. So I'm going to take 9... 38 and add my 41 cents in tax, $9.79. Seven, $9 That's what you should have gotten for that one on the answer. Okay, we're going to take a look at problems that are similar to that, but they're not exactly the same. Many times stores will use percents when figuring a sale or a discounted price. A shirt that regularly sells for $8 is now on sale at 20% off. 20% of this, take it off the price. Right? What is the sale price of the shirt? Well, first, what they did was they found out what 20% of $8 is. 20% of $8 is what? $1.60, right? And you're going to take that off the price of the shirt. $8 minus $1.60 is? $6.40. Another way to do it, it says, or, since it's 20% off, and 100% is the whole shirt, it's 20% off, which means it's 80% on. You are paying 80% of the original price. So they did it in one step by just doing $8 times the 0.8 or 0.80. Okay, which ends up with this exact same answer, $6.40. Yes? Would you have to put the 100 minus 20 for your show work? You probably should put the 100 minus 20 just so you show where in the world that 80 came from. 